Okay, welcome back to this video about the Attack on Titan. I wanted to make something about it for a while since the final season is killing it right now, but couldn't really decide on what topic to do a video about because Attack on Titan genuinely is so good. You could talk about a lot of stuff, but I decided to go back to the very start of the show. One of the biggest reasons it gained this much popularity and the hype it got when season 1 came out. The perfect first episode. I am not just saying this lightly, but I really think the reason Attack on Titan got as big as it is now is the first episode. Think for yourself, what's the most important thing when you meet a new person at first? The first impression, obviously. Attack on Titan hooked so many people with its first episodes, people from the mainstream got hooked into an anime. And I know, nowadays it seems more normal, but back in 2013, 14, it was unthinkable. Look how even the normie kids from Fine Bros got the hype and that's saying something. I don't even know what this is about, I just heard it's really good. Yes, oh my god, this show is my life right now. Before today, had you ever heard of the show Attack on Titan? Mm -hmm. Yes. A lot of people talk to me about it. And you guys talk about it like in the fine time vlogs? I have watched it all in Japanese. Attack on Titan really got really big in such a small amount of time. Its rise through popularity was like a rocket. Now, there's not just one show that is crazily good. So what did it do differently? Think about One Piece or Dragon Ball or Naruto or Death Note. They are all good shows and most importantly quite popular too. But they build themselves this popularity over the time. Think about the first episode of Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto, Fairy Tail, Gintama, Jojo and so on. The first episode was literally nothing unique. But there were other aspects which later kept you hooked. Now Attack on Titan also got a brilliant story, I'm not denying it. Got characters and so on. But the first episode also took you and made you invested into the show like none other said. I'd say it was even arguably one of the best things of season 1 or Attack on Titan in general. Let's talk about what happened in the first episode though. We start with some action with the survey cops and we cut to the opening. Now I also wanted to give the first opening a special mention because I believe that the music in Attack on Titan also contributed to its popularity, especially the first opening. The first opening became a classic among anime openings and for a good reason. It got you so hyped and it is easily one of the most recognizable anime openings up to this day. Especially the yeah guys shout. Now we cut to Eden and Mikasa gathering wood and going back home. But they encounter the survey cops also returning from their mission which they failed as usual. In these single minutes we get to know the most important stuff about this world and the character of the protagonist Eren and what he is all about, freedom. We also get a brutal scene f within the first 12 minutes of the show which really shows you the tone of the rest of the story. This isn't some let's go and fight the bad guy with the power of friendship anime. This is brutal, this is realistic, people don't disappear like they did in the 4 kids version of One Piece, they die. The survey cops who fights for freedom is no match for the almighty titans and they lose yet again with many deaths yet again yet the most brutal part of this scene isn't the amount of corpses but the answer to the question did their death help humanity asked by one of the victims mother and the answer was no there was no good mouthing or anything this is the first part of episode one and it shows how brutal the world outside the walls was and how prison like the world inside the walls also was we get introduced to Aaron's mother and father and one vital point of the story afterwards the basement the same basement we needed to wait five years to know what's inside. So another vital plot point introduced in the first episode. The first episode really gives you all the things you basically need to know to watch the rest of the show. And I know this sounds like nothing special really, since you are like, well, duh, it's the first episode, what else is it supposed to do? But think about what happened in the first episode of One Piece for an example. Basically, stretchy dude comes out of a barrel. And yes, Attack on Titan is way shorter than One Piece, but there are countless other anime doing what Attack on Titan is doing in one episode within five or even a whole arc. Let's continue though. We meet Armin and are introduced into the bond of these three and what their friendship is basically all about. Again, enough information to understand each of their character. And then the episode ends. Wait, there was this one event? Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Okay, just joking. Because... Oh sweet Jesus, how could you forget what's come next? The masterpiece that will follow. 
Of course, we knew this show wasn't about fighting the bullies within the walls. I'm sure most of you who watched it already knew what happened in episode 1 before even watching it because of the following scenes becoming such iconic scenes. Throughout any media, we cut to the giant titan breaking through the walls and the smaller titans entering the wall. People are dying everywhere. Yes, this was quite a good shock moment. And most enemy would be like, yes, that's enough of a shock moment to end things here. But Attack on Titan didn't. We get to maybe still the cruelest, most sad, most brutal scene of Attack on Titan even up to this day, in my opinion. Mikasa and Eren are running home to check on their mom, to get her and run away, just to see her lying under the rubbles of their house. She was stuck, she couldn't move. While Eren and Mikasa desperately tried to get her out of the ruins of their house, their mom, who realized it was impossible, begged them to leave and rescue themselves. Now in hindsight, and because everyone knew the scene already obviously, she was gonna die. But while watching it, I'm sure most of the people were like, seriously? Are they, go are they really gonna do it? Nah, that's just too brutal. They wouldn't. Isn't anime this medium for children anyway? There is no way anything happens to her. And their thoughts were verified for a small time. Once the titans spotted them, Hannes, the drunken soldier from before, came to their rescue. We were all like, oh, okay, he got this. But once he stood in front of the Titan to kill it and save the day, we were reminded that this was Attack on Titan. This is what it's all about, real people. Hannes was full of fear and couldn't bring the courage to even try fighting this giant scary monster. He saw that he was massively outclassed. And let's be honest, that's probably what most of us would feel like too. Because we aren't some ninja trying to become Hokage. We aren't an alien sent to Earth to destroy the population. We are all human. So he really withdrew and got back to the kids. Only to take them and run away. Without the mother. The following scene is the only reason that the Titan happens. The sole reason that drives Eren. And really, it's not cheap or silly. We also fully understand everything he does from here on. Only with seeing this scene. Because we can genuinely understand him. And it's so important that they actually showed it. And it wasn't part of a long ago prologue like in Naruto for example. Hannes and the kids run away and the mother stays there helplessly. Shouting for her children to survive. Yet the most heartbreaking whispered words of her are... She's a real person, she's literally scared of her life here and obviously she also wants to continue living and spending time with her family. And she begins to cry until the titan grabs her. Now I also want to highlight this music, Vogel im Käfig, which fits not only this scene perfectly but also ones that will follow in the future and genuinely gives you goosebumps in combination with the dialogue. The titan grabs her, Eren and Mikasa who are being carried by Hannes having to see everything and Eren screaming for the titan to stop it, with incredible performance of his voice actor. The titan cracks the mother like a branch and while Mikasa saw enough and she turns to the other side, the main protagonist sees everything, everything he needs to see that keeps him motivated for the rest of his life. The titan eats his mother, blood gets on the floor and even in front of Eren. The cruelty of Attack on Titan was displayed the episodes end with the narrator saying humanity was suddenly reminded that day of the terror of being at their mercy, of the humiliation of being trapped inside a cage. The episode ends. What a thriller, what a tragedy, what action, what an episode. This powerhouse of the first episode took so many people into its span. As I said, it's amazing and so underrated I feel. That's why I wanted to make this video to just show you how amazing this first episode really was. Episode is so important and Attack on Titan nailed it 100%. And a final word, there is not one first episode better than this one in any media. Thank you for listening, bye.